hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to enable full accounting feature in oro 15 community edition so currently in the screen you are seeing oro 15 community edition which i am running from my local instance so we all know that oro 15 has been released during last month in oro experience so it is right now available in github for downloading so what i have done is in this database i have already installed the default accounting module or default invoicing module so if i go to the apps menu here you can see we have the invoicing module from odoo so if i click on the module info so you can see by default we have this module available in community edition for the invoicing or for the accounting purpose so once this module is installed in your database you can see you will have these options like if you come to the invoicing you will have a section called customers where we can see invoices credit notes payments etc and if you go to the vendors you will see bills refund payment etc and you have a small reporting section and then configuration section so upon seeing that you might see or you might feel that there is no much feature in accounting inside the community edition actually we have a bit more functionality so to get that functionality we have to add our users to a user group so right now you can see we have only four menus that is customers vendors reporting and configuration so i'll keep this tab as it is here and i'll just duplicate this tab so simply i have duplicated this tab and what i will do is that i'll go to settings so first of all to enable full accounting like to get more functionalities like a dashboard and to see the journal entries on all what you have to do is that you have to go to settings and scroll down at the bottom you can see the option to activate the developer mode so simply click on activate the developer mode so the debug mode is activated and come back to settings users so my current logged in user is mitchell admin you can see mitchell admin so i will open this user and if i click on edit and if you scroll down you will see a group called show full accounting feature so let me search show full accounting feature it's not uh, visible here or you can get it from just go to the groups so if you go to the groups and if you search show full accounting you can see there is a user called show full accounting feature so simply click on this and what you have to do you have to add your users to this user group so simply come to the settings groups search for show full accounting features and add your users to this user group so right now i will select my current logged in user that is mitchell admin and i will add him to this user group and simply refresh the screen and if you go back to the invoicing you can see now you have little more menus here you can have here in the first screen which i didn't refresh you can see we have only four menus but here we have an extra menu called dashboard where we can see the dashboard of all journals and you will have the configuration for accounting periods you can review your chart of accounts set up your tags and you can add your bank account so these functionalities can be done from this dashboard and if you go to the reporting or if you come to this menu accounting menu which is missing initially you have access to journal entries journal items and you can see different journals like sales purchase bank and cash miscellaneous etc also you can see ledgers and tax adjustments and also if you go to the configuration you have a another section here also like chart of accounts taxes journals currencies fiscal position journal groups tax groups etc all, all get visible once we add the users to the group show full accounting feature so simply enable the debug mode go to settings groups search full accounting add the users to those groups so this is how you can enable full accounting functionality or feature in odoo 15 community edition so still you might lack many things in the community edition like if you check the reporting 
can see we don't have any financial reports and you don't have option to manage assets you don't have the option to manage budget etc so in that case what you like like if you feel you need more in Odoo 15 community edition simply you can go to the Odoo app store and search Odoo mates and if you filter the free modules from the Odoo mates you can see we have got a bit more to the community edition like we have Odoo 15 community edition module so if I open this module you can see it bring more features to the community edition the features are not well documented in the document description but if you check the included dependencies click on included dependencies you can see we have bank statement import for community edition financial reports is there asset management is there budget is there fiscal year and log date is there and recurring payment is also there so what i'll do is that i have already downloaded this module from the Odoo app store and I have added it in my Odoo instance. So if I go to the apps menu, here you can see I have Odoo 15 accounting. So if I group by order and if I switch to the list view, here you can see we have downloaded all this module that is Odoo 15 accounting. It will bring fiscal year and log date. And still there should be, yeah, if I remove the apps filter. You can see we have over 15 accounting fiscal year and log date financial report asset management budget management etc so what i will do simply i will install the downloaded module so the module that i have downloaded from the app store is will be downloading this module which will bring all the other modules so if i install this module in the database let's see what functionalities does this module add to our database so simply on one on single click it will install all the dependent modules so if i go to the apps menu and module info install features you can see these are the installed features and technical data you can see it install all these modules like bank statement import recurring payment fiscal year budget assets and financial reports so right now if you go to the accounting you can see the name itself the menu name itself changed to accounting from invoicing and you have the dashboard there still you have the dashboard customers renters accounting here you can see you have the extra options of bank and cash bank statements here you have cash registers and you can see you have the log date option in the community suppose if you need to end some fiscal year you can use this log date functionality in the community edition then if you come to the reporting you can see you have the reports like balance sheet profit and loss partner ledger aged partner balance aged receivable aged payable and you can have the audit reports like a general ledger trial balance tax report general audit so you will have all these extra option and you can see asset reporting is also there so also you can see budget and asset has been added to community edition and if you go to the configuration and to the settings you'll find option to activate and deactivate anglo-saxon accounting in the community edition so all these extra features like anglo-saxon accounting the financial reports uh, that log dates and if you come here to the configuration you will see this clear so all these are bringing from the Odoo mates accounting module and if you go to the dashboard and if you check here the bank you can import the bank statement so we have provided the import sample you have to use that format for importing the bank statement so you have this bank statement option you have budgets you have assets and everything so shortly if you need to see the functionality just see the dependent modules you have bank statement import you have financial reports that is the reports that you have seen here this much reports and then you have asset management you have budget management fiscal year and log date recurring payment so simply what you have to do simply you have to download this module extract the folder copy the folder to your custom add-ons path restart the service and just search om account accountant and on single click it will install all the modules to the database so this is how you can bring accounting 
to the community edition and you might feel uh, that we don't have the reconciliation functionality but don't worry we have the OCA module which bring reconcile functionality in community edition so for that purpose we have a repo like OCA account reconcile so if I open this repo you can see currently it's 14 we have a module called account reconciliation widget so simply you can download this module and add to your Odoo instance which will bring reconciliation in Odoo 15 community edition so right now it's Odoo 14 so to get uh, the reconciliation 15 you have to download from this repository 15 you can see account reconciliation widget so after some days it will be available inside OCA repository so if you check this is OCA repository currently reconciliation is not merged but there is this pull request so this will be getting merged to OCA repository soon so by using this module we can add reconciliation to the community edition so this is all about how we can activate the full accounting in auto 15 community edition so if you're facing any issue in installing this module or in configuring the accounting please don't hesitate to contact us either you can directly comment it on the video or you can reach us in the mail that is odomates at gmail.com so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you